Hi everyone, welcome back. So we are now on Ipsy. This is gonna be the last one for the month of September. Uh, and then we will be awaiting the next month as always, which should be surprising. Uh, it will be a October box. Let's dig in. Okay, if you want to screenshot this. So you can see the whole screen. I do want to mention this is fun matching the the bag as well as the back. Um, I was eyeing this bag, so I'm considering if I want to go ahead and go for this. This is really cool. Love the theme. Love the colors. Um, so I'm still considering if I want to get this one. We'll see. Uh, and then the bag itself, of course, this needs a look and a little tassel. Really cool bag, I have to say. Let's dig in. Now, I want to say that this was my option. This is the option that I picked. I figured I was so unhappy with the last one that I might as well try to pick something for myself. I've been looking for a good, good tweezer. I couldn't find one, so hopefully it looks like it's a decent one. This is exactly what I was looking for. I don't know if it's going to work out for me, so um, hopefully I can't even take this off. I'm going to try it afterwards. But I've been looking for one, so hopefully this is it for me. Um, none of them work. I've tried the Anastasia, I've tried uh, the tweezer man guy, um, everything. And I could not find a good tweezer. Uh, so hopefully some of the freebies that you get, let's be honest, um, they're way better than the real product or the product that I actually have to pay for. So hopefully because I picked it here, it is supposed to be awesome. That's my thoughts. We'll see if I'm right. I'll let you know next month, next box, once we get, I get a little bit of practice with it. Next item is Perlis, and this is a BB cream. Can't read everything. I'm going to read it off here. Light gold. So this is Beauty Through Asian Wisdom. And this is a cream highlighter. So I was hoping that it would be like a, a cream with a little tint. It is a little bit on the gold side. So trying to squeeze it out. Oh, 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 it's very runny. Kind of messed it up. Let me show you. It's very runny. It is on the gold side. Let me use it up now because I messed up the little nozzle thing. Let me put it on my skin and you'll see how gold. It's super gold, you guys. Maybe I should not have done this. Should have been the last item in this box that I tested. But anyways, let me close it before I make all the trouble. Let me show you. So it's all the way over here. As you can see, it's very gold. Very. Uh, a little bit too much. I prefer a little bit more um, pink tones. You see that? Okay, it keeps zooming in and out. Um, let me see if I can wipe my hands so not everything is going to be in this color. Uh, okay, let's try to see more. Next item is Stellar Gaze Pacifica Natural Minerals, and this is a length and strength mineral mascara. Natural brand, which is lovely. Let me see if I can open this without damaging the box so I can show you the tube and actually take a look at it myself as well. I've never tried this one. I've had um, face products of this brand, just never had the mascara. Kind of interesting looking. So we have blue here and then we have gold here. Stellar Gaze. Length and shrink. So we can combine this with the Rare Beauty that we got in the Allure Beauty box. And we're pretty much done. Very interesting. Very unique. Let me set this here. Okay. Almost done with the bag. Next item we have Dull Paints. And this is a brown gel eyeliner in Toy Factory or by Toy Factory. It is sealed. Yes, it's sealed. So I don't want to... 
unzip it. I don't want to open it for now. Done in Canada. Let's see if you want to read it. The ingredients. If that helps. What color is it, you guys? Can we see the color? Brown. Okay, it was brown. So I read it, but not very carefully, I guess. And the last item, you guys. Last one. We have a little bubble thing. My boxy charm did get broken. So hopefully I'm waiting on the replacement on that. But since this had a cushion and then it was in a cushiony envelope, hopefully it's in one piece. And this is Perla on your face finishing powder. Okay, let me open it carefully so that I can control if it, uh, okay, it is good. So here you go. Just a powder, nothing else. You need your own brush, of course. Uh, definitely for fair or light skinned or very light skinned um, skin tones. I've never heard of the brand. I can't even read the brand. We're not even going to try this. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing this. We're not trying this. Is there a normal? Reina Rebeldi. Hopefully I said it right. Unique, different. I've never heard of the brand. So this is definitely uh, an unusual brand. So this is it, you guys. My selection out of this box was the tweezers. Um, I need one set. I have one that I always use, but um, just to have one on the go, and I prefer to have copies of things. Let's say I have one in my travel bag, and then I have one at my home bag where I do my makeup. So I do prefer to have two of each. I only had for years two, one set of tweezers. Um, and I pray that nothing happens to them or I don't, don't lose them. So it's good to have second. So I'm hoping that the second pair is going to be this set right here. So I'm hoping for the best. Um, as all the store trips that I did to find a good one never worked out for me. But this is it, you guys. Um, so again, I just talked about the Allure Beauty Box. Like everything there will match me because it's skincare. So technically there's no... Uh, color or tones or tints so everything worked out in that bag here unfortunately um, not so much just by that specific item it's too gold for me um, it just it's too much it would wash me out it would not give me any I don't know if you can see that um, it would not give me any color just because um, I'm normally cool tones pinks and this one is just a little bit too much but this is it, you guys. This is for the Ipsy Glam Bag for the September. If you tried any of these, let me know how you like them. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you are receiving Birchbox since they um, closed down and then reopened and tried to get back on the road, let me know how that works out for you. I would love to hear about your Birchbox. Um, hopefully one day I can return. I'm still waiting on make sure that they get their act together and they they put everything in place before I actually give them my money. But hopefully one day it will come. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time um, with the next videos for the next month, which is gonna be October. Can you believe this? We are already in October. Stay warm.